Hi guys, this is Bonnie with Bonnie Harms Design. Okay, so I have a major dilemma today and I've got to share it with you because I'm devastated. This morning I woke up, went into my pantry and after probably six months of back and forth with this, I found the dreaded weevil bug again. You may not know what that is, but it's like a little bug that I swear has a front loader of shark's teeth with a body. I don't even want to look it up because I'm scared to know what it looks like. I went into my pantry, everything was fine. I poured my kids cereal and out comes a little black speck, right? Well, I've been dealing with this for like six months. I know you're going to think I'm gross, but no, I thought I got rid of it. I had the pest control come and try to treat it like literally every month and we thought we got it. So I would put my things in Ziploc bags and be totally secure. My kids kept saying, mom, not gonna work, not gonna work. Guess what? My kids were right. So today I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm done. I'm gonna take everything out of my pantry. I don't have a very big pantry, but let me tell you, it's gonna be a lot of work because I'm gonna take it all out and I'm gonna completely clean the pantry clean the floors, vac it first and get it all out. It's just probably soap and water, no Clorox, and we're gonna be done with the weevils. But you've gotta see what my pantry looked like before. Brace yourself. Okay, so one thing you've got to know I pulled out like brand new boxes, let's say like for example, Bizquick, and I thought, no, there's no way that they could be in here. Brand new, sealed, everything, right? I opened up the box, poured out into a bowl like the Bizquick, and literally at the bottom of the Bizquick, there were those little things. So yes, they can get in to cardboard boxes, they can weevil through your um, Ziploc bags, they're disgusting. What they do like is flour, like bread products, anything related to that sort. They don't like cookies, but they like goldfish, rice, Bizquick, anything related to the bread department. So just FYI. Two hours later. Hey you guys, it's Bonnie with Bonnie Harms Designs. I am so excited to show you today my pantry reveal. Remember I was telling you guys about the problem I had with the little weevil bugs? Well, I solved it. And I can't wait to show you inside. Here it is. Super OCD pantry, right? I am so excited though. And honestly, guys, I'm not OCD. I think I'm obsessive compulsive diva maybe, but not OCD. But I will tell you, I love to be organized. So doing this was a lot of fun. Yes, probably not the best thing for my budget, but I will tell you, I'm never gonna have another weevil bug ever again. And like I told my husband, we're gonna save a lot of money, honey, because we don't have to throw anything out because we had to throw a lot of stuff out. It was ridiculous. Anyway, so come in here and see. So what I did is I got everything out of my pantry. You gotta get everything out, clean it out good. So once you do that, you'll assess what you have. And at that point, you can kind of filter out those things that you don't eat or those things that might be expired. Go ahead and get rid of those things. Or the things that you haven't eaten for a while, if you haven't eaten them and three to six months, you're not gonna eat them. Throw them out. Because then you can get a super organized pantry like this. So go through and weed out that first. Once you decide everything that you've got, start to make a list of what you need containers for. So you're gonna separate like all your crackers and snacks. You're gonna separate your pastas. You're gonna separate your potatoes and your onions and get like little baskets for those. I got those at Target. Separate out your dressings and oils. I have like all my baking goods. And then over here I have like all my flours, my Bisquick, sugar, and then all the cute little containers I've got there for all the uh, fun additives that you can put in your baking. Okay, so this is my favorite size. 
and it starts at $9.99. But what's great about it is you're going to have a lot of little things in your pantry that you don't want to get rid of. And so this is the perfect size. And it's a great size to carry in your car. So cool. All you do, press this button and then you lift off. Put it back on and press it back in so that you get that airtight closure. Nice, right? Okay guys, so you can find these containers. Well, I found them at Target. They're made by OXO, but I'm sure you can find them anywhere. And I know you can order them online. Like these containers right here range from anywhere from 22 to 17. And then these guys are $14.99. This is a great size. This is probably one of the sizes that you'll want to get the most. Because believe it or not, it fits a lot. And then what's so cool, do you see how I'm stacking them? They like fit on top of each other, so they're not gonna fall off. They got this engineering down. And I'll tell you, there's other containers out there, but I think OXO is the best, just by the way that they're made and engineered. It's pretty impressive. And then over here, I got these cute little containers at Target. And I thought these would be fun because you can just pull it open and grab your snack. So the kids think these are like super cool because we have everything so accessible. So, and these will be fine. I think they'll be secure and safe, um, bug free. What I loved about this so much, I mean, yeah, it was like really gross in the beginning, but I ended up loving it because my kids so got into it. It became like a family project, seriously. I, of course, cleared everything out, but then once we did that, we made a list and we decided what we needed containers for and they totally got into it. My twins, who are 13, literally spearheaded this project. And let me remind you, they were the ones that have been telling me for six months, Mom, you've got to get these containers. And I was like, no, it's fine. They can't eat through Ziplocs. So they were right. There you have it. It's on video. So they had the best time, and they literally put everything in the containers, organized these shelves. So I totally give them the credit for the organization of the shelving. And I give them also credit too, because now when we go to the store, they don't want to buy a lot of stuff. They're like, we can't get too much because we don't have containers. Yes, for the pocketbook. And that's it. So thank you for watching me today. If you get inspired to reorganize your pantry, I hope you do, because I promise you will love it. I feel like I'm the cleanest person in the world now every time I open up my pantry. Kind of fun. So thanks for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave me a comment below. We'll see you next time.